So you want to start a podcast, but your co-host or your guests are not in the same city or town as you. You need to do this over the internet, but you don't know where to start with the tech side of things. If that sounds like you keep on watching because today I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to know in order to make a podcast episode with someone who's not in the same room as you. Keep on watching. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Steckley and here on YouTube, I love to share social media and content creation tips and tricks. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload twice a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a single one. Recording a podcast remotely does not have to be complicated. In fact, when it comes to the tech side of things, it is not that different than if you were doing it in the same room. The only difference is that you're going to need to find an online program that allows you to talk to somebody while you're also recording the audio in some way. And I'm going to share with you three potential options that are all very easy to use that you can use when you are recording your podcast episode with someone who is far away. Before we dive into the software options, it's important that you have a good microphone to record your audio with. If you are somebody who is going to be hosting a podcast with somebody remotely, then you want both you and your co-host to invest in a good microphone for recording your audio. If you are hosting it by yourself and you have guests that you're going to be talking to remotely, then probably your guests are going to be using headphones with a microphone built into it. And that's probably going to be the best audio you'll get for them. You can't really expect your guests to invest in a fancy microphone if they're just going to be on your podcast once. With that being said, here are some recommendations for microphones you can use as a remote podcast host. There are so many options in the Zoom family and the USB microphones that I actually talked about in a video that I will link up here that you can check out. But today I wanted to mention a microphone that is called the Deity VMic D3 Pro. Deity very generously sent this to me to try out and I've been testing it on my camera and my computer and it performs very well. The reason why this is such a great microphone and I would suggest it to somebody who is a podcaster, maybe thinking about also doing YouTube videos is because you can connect it to a DSLR, lots of different kinds of cameras, but you can also plug it into your laptop and use it as a microphone that way. Trust me, I was blown away by this because I have all kinds of different microphones that I mount to my camera, but none of them have the ability to plug in to the headphone jack of my laptop and be used as a microphone that way. I could explain the complexities of like the number of rings around the little like headphone jack thingy. You know what? Clearly I don't really know the technical stuff behind it either. And you don't need to. All you need to know is that this is a great microphone to plug into your camera or into your laptop to record either YouTube videos or podcasts with. This isn't sponsored, but DD did send me the microphone for free. So thank you so much. And I would totally recommend that you guys check it out as well. It has great build quality, feels super high quality and records great audio. I'm actually using it right now on my camera to film this video. So now that you've got the microphone down, either you're using the Deity microphone I talked about or any of the videos that I mentioned in that podcast microphone video I made a few weeks back, you've got that as the host and hopefully you've communicated to your guests to either use a microphone if they happen to have one or just use something like the Apple headphones that have a microphone on the cord. Try not to use AirPods because the microphone on that is not very high quality. So if you can use some wired Apple headphones, that is going to give you pretty decent audio quality from your guests. Let's dive into the software that you're going to use to make this happen. There are two main options that I would recommend and they are Zencaster and Zoom. We'll start with Zencaster. This is an online platform that is made for podcasting. Once you sign up, you can get a free account and you can do up to eight hours of a recording in one month with the free version. You can have up to two guests on any given recording session and the length of that session is not defined. It's just that over the course of a month, you only get eight hours of audio for free. The reason why this is such a good option is because it is the recording and the sort of calling all built into one. Basically, you give somebody a link to put into their browser, whether it's Google Chrome or whatever, and they can show up in that chat room where it's going to be recorded and you'll be able to hear each other at the same time. So it's a great all in one platform. It is very user friendly. All you have to do is hit record. And then at the end, you'll be able to download an MP3 file of the conversation. 
So that one is super easy to use and free up to a certain extent. So I would totally recommend trying that out if you're getting started with podcasting. You can plug in the Deity microphone or any other kind of USB microphone to your computer before you start recording with Zencaster. So your audio will be coming through whatever external microphone you've chosen and your guests can just plug in their Apple headphones and the microphone that's attached to the headphones will be feeding the audio into Zencaster. I'll link that in the description below. You can check it out. Like I said, super user friendly. You can get started even if you've never done any kind of audio recording stuff in the past. The next option that I mentioned earlier is Zoom. So Zoom is a video and audio conferencing software that a lot of businesses use to have remote meetings, but it has the awesome feature of you being able to record your meetings. If you have a free Zoom account, you can record a meeting of more than two people up to 40 minutes long. That's kind of the limiting factor, but if it's just you and one other person, there's no time limit and you can record for as long as you want. You'll set up your meeting as usual and then just hit the record button. Again, with this one, you can choose to use a different microphone. Just make sure when you're setting up your meeting that the microphone that this program has selected is the one that you wanna be using, not just your default internal laptop microphone. And then at the end, when you press stop recording, Zoom will process the file and it will give you a video version, which includes the audio and the video of the call. And it will also just give you an audio file to work with. This one's awesome again, because it is the recording and call feature all built into one. It's very user friendly. And if you're only recording with one other person, there's no limit on how many hours of audio you can record, whether that's at one time or in a whole month. So if you think that you're gonna have longer episodes or more frequent episodes in a month, then Zoom might be your option. But if you are trying to record with two guests, then you might wanna use Zencaster because if your conversation's gonna be longer than 40 minutes, you'll have to start a second call with Zoom. Maybe you'll end up using a mix of both. You could use Zencaster when you have more than one guest and you can use Zoom when you just have one guest and between the two, you should be able to record all the hours of audio that you're ever gonna need. So both of those are awesome, free, and super user-friendly options. However, you are gonna find that the audio quality, even if you plug in your own microphone, is gonna suffer slightly. In the case of Zencaster, it's all recorded through the internet and processed through the internet. So even if you use a really good quality microphone when you're recording, the quality is gonna be a little bit damaged because it's going through Zencaster's processing. So if audio quality is your priority and you're hosting the podcast with somebody remotely and you can both invest in a good microphone, phone, then I would actually recommend a third option. Basically what this would look like is both of you sitting at your computer at the same time, plugging in your microphones and opening up a program like QuickTime or Audacity that's going to allow you to record directly into your computer. Then what you're going to want to do is open up Zoom or FaceTime or Facebook Messenger call, whatever your preferred method is, maybe on your phone so that you could have headphones plugged into your phone and have your FaceTime call going on while you're recording your audio into your computer. Then what you're gonna do after your call and you've both independently recorded your audio onto your computer, the person who is not editing the podcast will upload their MP3 file to Google Drive or whatever platform you wanna use and send that file to the host who is doing the editing and then they will have both sides of the conversation, which you can then sync up however you'd like to edit it. And you will have super high quality recordings of both of your voices from a distance. You can use Audacity or GarageBand or whatever you really want to use to edit your podcast. There's a lot of options. If you're unsure about that, I have a video about editing podcast intros and outros that kind of gives you a rundown of Audacity. I'll link it up here so you can check it out. But if you want a more in-depth tutorial on editing a podcast, let me know in the comments and I could make a video on that in the future. So I hope you found this video useful. I kind of gave a rundown of all the different options you have for recording a podcast remotely. If you have any questions or want to know more in-depth details of any of the options that I outlined, please do let me know in the comments and I will try to answer your questions as best as I can. If you want to see more videos about podcasting, you can check out this one right here. But before you go, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Like I said, I upload twice a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a single one. As always, I hope that you are having adventures and following your dreams and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!